Morning guys, it is December the 4th, day 4 vlogmas, welcome back. Um, yeah, so I've gone up this morning, I've made myself my coffee and I got up at 6, so nice and early bang on time. Um, that's my aim, to get up at 6 each day and um, get a good little head start on my day. I'll just prop you up here on the shelf of my desk so I can have a little chat with you guys. This is actually a really good location, it's a good spot. Um, yeah, good. You can't see the stuff behind me. <laughs> There's some gifts on the bed and I don't want it to be clear what they are in the video because I'm worried the person they're for or the people they're for might see them. Um, so what did I get up to last night after I last spoke with you? I finished um, the first of Layla socks. How cute is this little itty bitty sock? It's so tiny but it's so much bigger than the socks I knit her last winter considering obviously she's a lot bigger now as well but um, but yeah, and I just, just got this out of the leftovers. I had about the teeniest little scrap left from that one half of the uh, leftovers. So I have another little ball about the same size left um, to do the other one. I'm hoping later today when we get back, um, and I'll explain in a second from where, this afternoon, um, if the lighting is okay, I'm going to try and record the tutorial for this toe. Um, so I can get the second sock done. I've held off casting on the second sock just because I wanted to be able to record the tutorial. So it's the first time in a while that I've knit socks one at a time, but it's only because I wanted to record it, um, that I hadn't done it yet. Then I, the, my spinning has dried and it's actually not changed at all since I finished spinning it. Um, the diameter of the, the circumference, sorry, of the skein hasn't changed. It's still the same length as it was on the, after I took it off the Niddy Noddy. And so I have now got a total of about 90 grams, and I ended up with 301 yards or 275 meters of yarn. I haven't done a wraps per inch or anything yet, but it looks to me to be a lot like a fingering weight, fingering to sport weight. Um, so I'm pretty chuffed with that. This was the sample skein that um, the lady who sent me the fibre sent me. I think the bit that she'd spun obviously had more of the textural bits in it as well. There's definitely a lot more of the uh, ooh, textural colours and stuff in it. But it's funny, it's interesting to see how differently they spun up. Anyway, so that was that. And that was a really fun spin and it's still nice and soft. I'm a lot happier with how this one plied compared to when I plied those row lags. I felt like it was a little bit loose on the ply, like it wasn't as, it wasn't, there wasn't as much twist as I would have liked and the only thing I did differently was I used a, a faster ratio. So I had the, um, the row lags spun on the slowest ratio and so now I've moved this to the middle ratio. My wheel, the current flyer has three ratios so I had it the slowest and I've just moved it I moved on to the middle one for um, plying this and it just meant that the, at the speed and the thing that I enjoyed um, plying it at I was getting enough twist without um, overspinning it. I think that was what I was worried about with the Rolex I was worried about overspinning so I wasn't really adding enough twist in. Um, I mean it's still fine as yarn like it will work it's just not as high twist as I had thought it would be. Anyway, yeah, and that's that. And I've also started prepping the Shetland to be spun. So all I do is I just draft out the row legs quite a lot, actually, considering look how tiny they start. There's four in here, and look how big the fibre bundles get after prepping. So I will probably get started on that a little bit later as well. So um, plans for today. Layla's a nursery. So Perry's actually going to take her to nursery this morning and I'll be picking her up later in the afternoon. Just means I can get a little bit of work done in the morning um, before we have to head out. Perry and I are heading off to check out a school for Layla today. I won't be vlogging any of that to be honest, it's not, I, I wouldn't be able to even if I wanted to. Um, and I don't really want to share potentially where Layla might be going to school. Um, so we're going to check out another school, we've already checked out three. And I think we have narrowed down like our favourite two so far, but we want to check out one more just to make sure. And um, to be honest, I think any of the schools we've seen so far, she'd be really happy at. So we're quite spoiled for choice for good schools around our area, which we're quite lucky about. It's one of the reasons why we like this area when we were looking to buy. 
Um, anyway, so we're gonna go do that. So by the time I get home, it'll be about lunchtime. I do have plans on the days that Layla's in nursery because on those days I am working essentially, so I'm not gonna be doing as much fun stuff to record. So the vlogs will either be shorter or I will try and think of other things to um, chat about with you guys on those days. And uh, yeah, so I've really chatted quite a bit this morning, so I wanna leave you guys to it and I will catch up with you guys in a bit. We're back home and uh, we've had a really busy morning. It's just gone midday now, so it's been a couple of hours since I last checked in with you guys. You'll have seen that I did a little bit of spinning this morning. I knit another little mini sock, um, sock ornament rather. I'm knitting it and working on another one now. I'm almost done with the foot. Um, to be honest, I probably could have finished this on the drive home, but I didn't knit in the end and I was just chatting with Perry about the school we'd been to. It was such a lovely school. Um, anyway, <laughs> all that aside, um, back to work, I guess. Well, actually, I'm going to have some lunch first and then it's back to work. Um, I have quite the to-do list to work through today. I've already done, I've already managed to tick off a bunch of stuff this morning, so that was really nice and felt quite productive. I have a few more things to do and, um, yeah, I'm hoping to get that tutorial videoed today and I need to get my handouts finalised for Vogue to send to the organisers because they're going to be printing them off for me which would be really nice. So I think there are still some spaces available for a couple of the classes that I'm teaching at Vogue in New York in January which is exciting. So I'm just gonna have some food and uh, crack on with my day. Right, well, I've had a busy early afternoon. Um, it's now 3 p.m. Oh, geez, I can't believe it's 3 p.m. already. I've got a lot to do, and I've actually managed to get a lot of stuff done this afternoon, which is good. Not the stuff I'd intended to get done, unfortunately, but it is fine. Um, I, my far and wide shawl, i grab it. No, oh, it's just here on the side. This lovely, beautiful scarf, scarf, shawl. I guess it's kind of scarf-ish as well because it's not too, it's not super, super deep, but um, this pattern is now finalised and it's ready to be published. So I'm hope, hoping, hoping to have this published by the end of the week. I just need to sit down and draft it on Ravelry and get it all ready in that regards. But the actual pattern is done. It's been test knit. And so it's all ready to go, which is really exciting. I can't wait to get this one out there into the world. I was going to wait until January to publish it, but it's ready, so why wait? And um, yeah, it's a really fun quick knit as well as far as the shawl goes. It's four skeins of worsted weight, um, but it's super adaptable. If you've, if any of you have knit my snow day shawl, it's written up in a very similar way in that it's kind of like a recipe. So I give you percentages for each section and it's totally adaptable. You can knit each section for as long or as little as you want. Um, and yeah, it's very adaptable in that regard. So even though this has been knit in worsted weight, I think it would look great in DK, in fingering weight even. You could hold fingering weight doubled and like do like a really mild version, which would be really, really fun. Or, and I'm really looking forward to doing this at some point, is a hand spun version, because I think this would be amazing in hand spun. Um, yeah, I think it'd be really fun in hand spun. And I would love to do a hand spun version at some point. I just have to figure out <laughs> the yarn for that or the fiber to be able to make the yarn to then knit one up because I think that'd be so much fun. Um, so yeah, so this will be launching hopefully by the end of this week. Then I've also got the London Bee Ridge hat, which I will be publishing hopefully next week, end of next week. I still need to get pattern photos for this and I just don't know when I'm gonna get a chance to photograph it. And then I've had lots of other little bits and pieces to sort out. I just booked my flight for Vogue, which is really exciting. Um, so I'm definitely going to Vogue <laughs> in New York in January. So I've just finished booking my flights for that. What else have I done? Oh, I've just done my Christmas shop for Christmas dinner. Well, I say I've done the shop. I've sort of pre-booked my slot and put a bunch of stuff in the cart that I know I definitely will need for Christmas dinner. 
and um, I'll, I will probably go back and edit it and add more stuff later but for now I have a book slot booked although I'm a little bit late to the game and I'm having to get stuff delivered the week before Christmas which is fine to be honest most of the things that I'm ordering are um, they'll keep for a week so that's fine and nearer the time I can always pop out to the shops and get some last minute bits I've been sorting out the last few Christmas presents and ideas for things that I want to get. I'm pretty much got everyone sorted. I have three people left to buy for, two of which I already know, well, actually no, all three I know what I'm getting them, I just have to go get them. And I'll be doing that on Friday with Nugget. Nugget and I are going to have a Christmas shopping day on Friday. So um, she's got baby ballet in the morning and then we're going to head, we're going to stay in town and have lunch in town and then do a little bit of Christmas shopping. So I'm excited to tell you about that. On, on Friday, I don't want to spoil the surprise. Um, and now I'm finally going to crack on with doing some more work. A lot of admin -y stuff to get on with. And if you couldn't tell from all this, I never got around to filming that toe tutorial today that I wanted to. To be honest, by the time I was ready to sit down and do it, I was losing a lot of light and it's already starting to get dark and it's only three o'clock. So I'll probably do that tomorrow morning. So when there's better, sorry I keep saying so. I realise now listening to myself talk that that must be really annoying. So, um, I just did it again. Um, yeah, so I will do that tomorrow morning when there's better light. And um, yeah, I'm gonna crack on now. Lost track of time, so I'm just heading out to go pick up Layla. You help me take, oh, well done. Oh, you help mommy take her shoes off. Oh, thank you. I don't think you did the zip the whole way, that's fine. Can you do this one? Go on, you can do it. Yay. Yay, did you do it? Well done. Yeah, go put it down. Yep, yeah, put it down. Good girl. Can you hold it? Mummy's gonna go get the sock one and your other one from Granny. Okay? I was a bit naughty and forgot to put them in earlier. I'm gonna do this one first, your sock one. I think it's in the bottom, Lucky. You're gonna have to hold it from down here. Hold it there. Here. Hold it there. Shake. Shake. Oh. <gasps> wow! Yeah, hold on. First one out. You say please. Good girl. You say thank you. Yeah, it's rubbish. Number four's here. Can you open it? Hey guys, so um, we're home now obviously, <laughs> you've all seen. I'm part way through mini sock number five. It's actually the fourth one I've knit today, which is a bit insane. Anyway, knit a lot of mini socks lately. Um, Layla's off downstairs with Perry brushing her teeth. My battery light's flashing, so this is me saying good night. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for joining us today. Bye.